Hello, ninth grade students. In this video, I'm going to be talking about conjunctions on page 300 of your grammar book. Uh, so it might be good definitely to open it up. I'm going to try to go over some of the exercises um, to help you understand what is the purpose of conjunctions, how do they work in the sentences. We've been using them already, just like prepositions, uh, but hopefully this will give you a better under, other understanding of how and why we use them. Okay. Uh, you might want some notebook paper because i got some notes on the board and just uh, maybe to help you be clear about this stuff. All right. Well, anyway, here we go. Conjunctions, the definition in your book, number one, it says a conjunction is a word or a word group that joins words, phrases, or clauses. It puts them together. Okay. Uh, probably the most famous conjunctions you know of are and, but, um, or, Okay, what do they do? They join, most of the time they'll join sentences. Sometimes they'll just join a couple of words, uh, like this one right here. Red and blue. Red or blue. Okay, uh, just join some words. Phrases, like your prepositional phrases, your gerund phrases, participle phrases, and infinitive phrases, okay, a conjunction can just simply come between those group of words. Um, to, uh, to eat cake, or to uh, eat some pie, all right? This is two phrases, two infinitive phrases. On the bus, prepositional phrase, and in the house, okay? Two phrases, uh, two prepositional phrases, so it can join them, comes between them. And then here's where it gets just a little bit more complicated, but not, not too much. Um, words, phrases, and then clauses. Remember, clauses are a group of words with a subject and a verb. These are not, and so it can be a complete sentence. I'll try to explain this just a little bit, but it'll get more uh, simple once we get into the actual conjunctions. Equal clauses, or clauses of equal rank, that's what it says in your book, are two independent clauses, or just two sentences, okay? So, uh, I, like to, uh, I like to play games, and I like to uh, go to the store, okay? Uh, Susie wants to play uh, baby dolls, but Jason wants to play soccer, okay? Uh, two complete sentences joined by a coordinating conjunction in the middle. That's, that's, that's one type of clause. The other type of clause is with an independent and a dependent clause. Independent and a dependent clause. And I'm going to give you this explanation in just a minute, a little bit clearer, but uh, think about, like, these are two highlighters, okay? They're both basically exactly the same. So take them as two independent clauses, two sentences. Oh. They, they can stand up by themselves. They're, they're good. They're not dependent on anything. But this right here, this cannot stand up by itself. I've tried multiple times. It's very difficult, okay? Uh, and if you want to get out your pencil and go ahead and try it, and, you know, message me and let me know if it was possible. It uh, doesn't even have a stable eraser, okay? So this is representing our dependent clause because it cannot stand up by itself. Go ahead, get your pencil and try it. All right, uh, so that's kind of the difference. Independent clauses, sentences can stand up all by themselves. Dependent cannot stand by itself, even though it does have a subject and verb. Well, how do these work with conjunctions and what do they... How can we use conjunctions to work with our sentences? Okay, let's just look at the coordinating conjunctions first. Coordinating conjunctions, most famous ones, and, but, for, nor, or, and yet. Uh, under point A, point A is coordinating conjunctions, and under point A, it also has correlative conjunctions. Basically, it's just coordinating conjunctions used in pairs. It's almost like a compound coordinating conjunction. Um, but it's got like either or, look in your book, neither nor, both and, not only, but also. So it's when you just, you use those words together in the sentence uh, rather than just using like and in the sentence. Um, or just using or. You use either or, neither nor. They, they're pairs. They go together. Um, but they, they still look the same. It won't be hard to find them. The second uh, type is subordinate conjunctions, and we'll get to that in just a second. Well, I'll go ahead and show you. Coordinating conjunctions and subordinate conjunctions. Those are really the two main types, okay? So coordinating conjunctions, and before, nor, or, yet, will join words, 
phrases and equal clauses, two independent clauses, okay? Well, that keeps it simple because that's already three of the categories that we had over there. Subordinating conjunctions, okay? Where's my little card? I am sorry, I apologize. Your subordinating conjunctions since before that if all of those are used to join unequal clauses or dependent clauses with independent clauses, okay? Uh, that's why these are so important to know and to be able to spot in the sentence because if you see these words in the sentence, 99% uh, chance it's going to be an unequal clause, uh, sentences of unequal rank. Um, so. Uh, when you're working in your sentences down there, it wants you to identify what is it joining? What is the conjunction joining? Is it joining words, phrases, unequal clauses, or, uh, equal or unequal clauses? And so if you see a subordinating conjunction, you don't even have to go any further. You know it's an unequal clause. Uh, coordinating conjunction, you just kind of have to double check. Is it two sentences? Do we have prepositional phrases? Uh, or do we just have two words? Uh, a real quick uh, illustration that I wanted to show you. Okay. This is why it's so important to understand the difference between an equal and an unequal clause. Okay, so let me try to show you. If you've got some highlighters and you want to do this little experiment with me, you can. All right, so I got my two independent clauses, my two sentences that can stand all by themselves and they're just simply joined by this little piece of paper with a coordinating conjunction on it. Uh, it's not difficult. They don't even need it to stand up. They don't need it need its help at all, okay? Because they're two sentences independent, okay? I'm sorry. All right? But if I have an independent and a dependent, I just want you to see how feeble this is without help. I'm going to use a deep uh, subordinated conjunction. Okay, it's it's thicker. I've got this taped on an eraser. It is there. Point down a little bit more. It is there to help support your dependent clause. And almost just about any way you put it together, it will stand up. I know it's not perfect. It's not standing straight up. But uh, dependent clauses uh, are different, okay? But you can see, hopefully, I'm trying to point it out a little bit more, how the subordinating conjunction is connecting the independent clause to the dependent clause and connecting the dependent to the independent clause. It is there to help it, okay? Because, again, it cannot stand all by itself. So... Now we're done with that little experiment. Hope that was fun. Um, look at exercise A. I want to do a couple of them with you. Um, so exercise A, it wants you to find the conjunction first. Maybe you want to just pause the video and go through your sentences and find all your conjunctions. And then uh, on the line, it wants you to tell what is it joining. Words, phrases, or uh, equal clauses, or unequal clauses. And again, you have to look at the conjunction kind of to find that. So number one, Jesus said, I am the true vine and my father is the husbandman. Find your conjunctions, kind of right in the middle of the sentence, and. Okay, well we know it's a coordinating conjunction, so it's got to be one of these. So then look between it, look on both sides of it. I am the, I am the true vine and my father is the husbandman. We're not just joining two words, we're actually joining two complete thoughts, two independent clauses, two sentences, okay? So that's what you would put in the blank. Uh, just abbreviated and equal, C, uh, you can just put like E-C or C-E, I think it says C-E in your book, but anyway, uh, it's two sentences, it's two equal clauses, two independent clauses, okay? Number two. If we leave immediately, we may arrive on time. Now, if you're not super familiar with your conjunctions, it might be a little bit difficult to find this one. Otherwise, it should jump right out at you right at the very beginning. It's the word if. 
if we leave immediately, underline it, and we really don't have to go any farther because it is a subordinating conjunction, meaning it's joining two, uh, to an unequal clause, a dependent and an independent clause. Okay, unequal clauses. Uh, so that's what you can put in the blank. U, C, or C, U. Number three, Booker T. Washington and George Washington Carver work together at Tuskegee Inst Institute. Okay, look for the conjunction, the word and. Okay, look on one side of it, Booker T. Washington, George Washington Carver. Just two names, really. Uh, and really, you can just put it as it is two words, two groups of words is what it is. Um, two people. So just put W in the blank. Let me do one more with you. Number four, we are not only to believe the truth, but also to proclaim it. Uh, this is a good one to stop on because uh, it might be kind of, I want you to see the complete conjunctions here. We have correlated, meaning there's they're, they're pairs, they uh, work together. Not only, both of those together, and, but also, both of those together. So not only, but also, they're working together, and they're there to join. Uh, just kind of look at the sentence. What are the two groups of words there? We have to believe the truth and to proclaim it. To believe the truth, to proclaim it. Let me give you a hint. It's not just words. It's not just a group of words. It is a group, uh, a couple of phrases. Can you look and see what type of phrase it is? They are infinitive phrases, to believe, to proclaim. Okay, and so you could put phrase uh, in the blank. Just keep working on that. Again, check your uh, conjunction and uh, let me know if you have questions. I would like you to try the sentences down there just to make some and maybe post one on the uh, Ren web. Okay, thank you.